based on its initial velocity and the values of the different values of E and B that we could impose on this charge, right? So now go back to that. Okay, so the simplest case we can say is make the Vx, let's say this is x. So in, this, in the simulation, it looks like the red is acting as the x. The blue is acting as the y. This is blue. And the green, okay, green, x, y. Green looks like it's into the board, right? Uh, okay, so the green is the z. Hold on, x, y. No, no, green is the y. So the z is the blue. Z is blue, and then green is into the board. So it's like this. X is red, and the y is into the board because I'm making it a right-handed coordinate system. X crossed into y should give you z, right? So y is into the board. Let's go like this, y is into the board. Now, um, press play, see what the, okay, so it took how long for it to uh, go for it? So basically it's saying the path of the particle is just gonna simply be a straight line uh, and it's gonna take two seconds for it to traverse that distance. Aha, we could use this user-defined run to actually determine the scale of the screen. Okay, ha, we got it. So then it will all make sense. Uh, I'm gonna call it the user defined. I'm gonna put the velocity as one, the E field as zero. You see, there's no E field vector now. And then I'm gonna say, let's run it. Okay. So are you calculating your own scale? Yeah, so this will help us in tomorrow's lab actually. <laughs> So, I get it, I get it. Yeah, so I'm going to calculate the scale of, this, of the simulation by running it at the easiest possible scenario, constant velocity with no electric field. So go like this. Okay, so four seconds to cover that distance, right? So then if you're going at a constant speed from here to here, you're going at, uh, so I need a ruler, where's my ruler? Mm, so the ruler, let me see, let me measure the screen was 18 centimeters and the particle was going at uh, one meter per second with no forces on it. And it took four seconds to reach there. So distance is just V times T. So uh, 18 centimeters. So what distance should it cover? Uh, so if you're going at one meter per second, and then the time is um, four seconds, you should cover four meters, right? So that means on your scale, right? On your scale of the screen, uh, we could almost keep this in centimeters. We can say um, 18 centimeters is equivalent to four meters. So one centimeter on, this, on the screen 
is equivalent to um, what? 4 over 18 is what? Um, 2 ninths? Yeah, 2 ninths, right? Two goes, uh, that's point two, two, two real. So one centimeter on the screen is equivalent to 0.22 meters in the real world, right? Okay, now we could go back to our first one. The first one we ran, and then we can say, okay, it went, what was the distance that it went? Uh, not 0.2 me, uh, meters, it went and actually the full distance of the screen, which is what? Um, Uh, four meters, right? Because remember, from here to here is in the real world is actually four meters. Okay, so it went four. This would be four meters. And how long did it take? It two seconds. Oh, where? Let's see. This is one. One plus a t. That's embarrassing. And then you got here one times, oh my gosh, that's why my A calculation is wrong. One times T plus half A T squared. Right? Uh, one times T plus half A T squared. So then now I can say X final is two, two, or oh, hold on, what was X final? Oh, four meters, right? Okay, from there, we can put T is two. Okay, see, that's why it's my A calculation is wrong again. Well, the first time it was wrong was because of the scaling. I didn't do the scale. So uh, now I did four meters. Okay, one times T plus half A T squared. And this is uh, two, right? Two seconds. So then, uh, what does that get me here? Four is equal to... Two, I'm gonna put two here times one, of course, is two plus half a times two squared, and then four minus two is two. This and this cancel two a okay. Back to one now. Before, before it was point one, then we changed it to two, now it's one. Okay, there you go. One. Oh, now it's gonna match. 